quote unquote disrespected Quran leads to deadly violence in Bangladesh. On October 13th, the Bangladesh government deployed paramilitary troops to protect the Durga Puja festival, a significant Hindu festival due to violent attacks on Hindu minority neighborhoods across the country. At least seven people were confirmed dead and over 100 injured during the violence in the city of Kumila. The violence started when a picture circulated online showing the Quran, showing that the Quran was allegedly placed beneath the feet of a Hindu god, Ganesh Murthy, inside a Durga Puja temple. The picture went viral, and in response to the alleged disrespect of the holy book, violence broke out in Kumila and quickly spread to other cities like Begum Ganj, Begum Ganj and the nation's capital, Dhaka. Al Jazeera reports that, quote, government and security agencies have described the recent incident as planned with the aim of destabilizing the country. Aside from the human casualties, buildings, temples, and houses were damaged or burned. At least 70 temples were burned during the violence, according to the Bangladesh Hindu Buddhist Christian Unity Council. This is this is going to get worse, isn't it? This is going to keep getting worse. Yeah. So what's yeah. really concerning cool. is that the official story, this is what is being said by ministers. This is what is being said by police officials. Okay. Is that this was planted. This was faked, essentially. Some men from a local Islamic sect are alleged to have gone to this um, little temple and taken the Quran and put it on the lap of like a Ganesh statue. And then they took some pictures and then they left it there. And then slowly there were reports that the police put out a notice of like, we're aware of like, that there was an incident with this thing, like, please stay calm, don't take the law into your own hands. And then very quickly, there were mobs that completely attacked this temple. And then the violence spread to other neighborhoods over, you know, it spread to 22 different districts within the city of Camila. And then it started spreading to other cities across the country. And then the police were overwhelmed with when they were attacking this initial temple. I mean, many different temples. And so sometimes they were firing blanks, but oftentimes they had to fire live rounds into the crowd. It's reported that there were at least three or four people that died on the spot, and then the rest died later at the hospital. Many of these people who were killed were actually Muslims who were um, protesting or mobbing. Um, so while it was a generalized an attack of anti-Hindu violence, certainly. What I've been reading online is that actually most of the people killed were um, Muslims, but there were reports between 100 to over 150 injuries, um, mostly from uh, Hindu families, um, businesses, business owners, and policemen. Um, and well, there was like so many... Um, mini stories of what happened to people throughout this crazy scale of violence that are just like horrible and heartbreaking. And there was a representative of a um, like local Hindu rights group or something that basically said that like Hindus in Bangladesh are never going to be able to forget uh, Durga Puja 2021 because of how horrific it was. They said like, we saw the true face of the people who are around us, like on that day, it started on the violence started on Friday and then it bled into the following Saturday until the government had to start um, ordering platoons to just start going in and armed military forces um, to help just get calm in the streets. Is this oh, true? Liberal liberal Hindu Hindu is saying it has been proved. There is a videotape showing a Muslim man putting the Quran on the lap of the idol. I haven't seen this video. This is the first time I've heard of this video. Um, however, that is consistent with the story that I have seen reported in many different 
newspapers writing about mm -hmm. this. So while the See, previous story we were talking about, about the people claiming that the Sikh blasphemy was to delegitimize the farmers' protest, there ha it doesn't seem to be very credible evidence about that. Mm -hmm. This is much more credible evidence than saying this was a conspiracy to use mm -hmm. the words of officials, sabotage and destabilize the country. Essentially, yeah. if I was to think of um, an American, American equivalent, almost like someone planting evidence to like start a race war. Like that is kind of the intentionality that the officials are getting at here of like what was, um, it, 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 this blasphemy was planted to then go attack a minority community. It's horrible. It's horrific. Um, and, uh, well, I've been talking for a while. Armin, do you have anything you'd like to add? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> no, but okay. So for our position on, on conspiracies is that it's not that they don't happen. Like people are like, oh, you you think you, yeah, but they do happen. We're not saying like they're never the case. It's just that so many people are so e easily believe them without proof, especially when they don't like the story that they're hearing. Right. So, and even, you know, sometimes we, when we say like the conspiracy is not likely, we're not saying it's not possible, just that it's not likely. In this case, it seems like it's more likely because there seems to be actual evidence. It seems to be an official position. But even then, we don't know 100% for sure, right? Um, I also want to highlight the fact that this kind of, if these conspiracies are correct, like if this is true that this was intentional, it does highlight, it does show that desensitization is the only way forward because a lot of people like when we do blasphemy and when we like um put content out there that is offensive people say that you look armin and susanna you're fueling this fire you're going to cause these communities to go become you know turn against each other even more right um and but we said no it's it's actually the other way around because even if we don't do it, look, you, you, you're not, first of all, they're going to, they're going to want it. They're going to like plan something to start some, to, for, to start a conflict like this. But even if they don't conspire to do anything like this, you're not going to be able to like, oh, Armin, do, don't do it. Susanna, don't do it. Atheist Republic, don't do it. But it's going to happen, right? You're not going to, you're not going to be able like, guys, please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And go away. Go go ask every Hindu that might be upset not to do something like this. Like, do you think you're going to be able to like stop every single person from like, you know, doing something sacrilege or blasphemous? Are you going to be able to stop everybody? You're not going to be able to. So this is, this is going to happen. So you, instead of like trying to stop everybody from doing this, you might as well normalize it and just flood the world with blasphemous stuff so that eventually th there's no point in reacting to it because it's everywhere it's mainstream it's, we already have done that with dry muhammad day and it has been effective the reactions are still there but it's not the same as before and uh, guys i'm not saying by the way that do go put like quran and got them you know in temples and stuff like that i'm saying for me and susanna who are who can do this from a safe space from a safe place then or other people who can do this in areas where there's no actually mob coming after us or anything like that then it makes sense for us to normalize stuff like this so that the reaction you know because we're not in india we're not in bangladesh we're not in pakistan right so obviously if we were there we would hold back because if we are there and did this it would cause like a I don't know, somebody to come out at us or our community, and then there will be a reaction. But given that we can do this from, you know, other places where they can't reach us, I think it is our responsibility to push back against this in the only way possible, and that would be to desensitize people by creating as much blasphemous material as possible. In fact, in fact, I suggest that we make a blasphemous art. What was the God that the Quran was found on? Ganesh? Um, reportedly Ganesh. Mm -hmm. According Given to some this, reports. Hmm. Wait, people are, um, people, 
Would it be, should we wait a bit before we make a blasphemous art on this, given that people have died? I don't know. I, I don't, I, I'm thinking. Well, we can, I don't know about that. Okay, I'm I'm thinking of creating a blasphemous art where the where the but the Quran is shoved up Ganesh's ass or something. Oh God, no, 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 no
it doesn't mean there won't be one person that is just out of their mind and have just maybe like they're tired of life like they don't care and they might just do something well, like this right just because we get just because we can't imagine it uh there's so many people these we're talking about millions of people one of them might but i'm not saying this is what happened here i think i think the better argument for why this is not the case is i don't know the video surveillance and the evidence that exists for the fact that this was planted i think that's a better argument for rather than just saying i can't imagine why a hindu would do that we don't know people are like weird so yeah. but that wasn't their argument they're talking about the reality and felt experience of like the community that lives there like in their so own personal think, experience so as well so you're saying that was their argument <laughs> no you're using yeah you're talking you're saying well okay so i don't know what you're saying but what they're saying is that their personal experience makes them makes it hard for them to imagine somebody would do something like this right i'm just saying that just because it's hard for you to imagine hard for people to imagine somebody doing something like this it doesn't mean that it couldn't happen i agree and it makes it much less I likely know, armin it's possible yeah it's possible given that there's many people there like we're talking a lot of people there right so even if it have even if one in a million person would think like that well, guess what? There's millions of them out there. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, in what was interesting about this spate of violence as well is that this is the first time I saw people in just my normal social media talking about violence against Hindus um, or even Hindu phobia, quote unquote, in a way that I felt was um, legitimate and not like Hindu extremists trying to paint criticism as hindu phobia but like actual anti-hindu violence um including this video by former uh presidential candidate tulsi gabbard and i thought this would be interesting to play for a second um let me know if you don't have audio wait before it you play my heart okay. to um no go ahead go i'll, I'll let you know after see such a hate and violence being directed towards devotees of God in their temples in Bangladesh. Now for these jihadists to believe that it is pleasing to God to burn and destroy temples and the murti of such a saintly person as his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, this just shows how far away from God they really are. God is love and his true servants embody and manifest that love in the world. Now's the time for the supposedly secular government of Bangladesh to protect that country's religious minorities, including Hindus, Christians, and Buddhists from the jihadist forces of hate. It broke my heart. What do you think of uh, Tulsi Gabbard and her commentary there? I think she's using language to that is actually like the fact that she keeps on saying jihadi jihadi. Yeah. I think she's trying to stir up more conflict. Like, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I would say that. And I think she's, if I, if we were saying that, I think it would be completely right. But coming from a politician and she constantly saying, like, you know, you know what she's doing, right? She's trying to create stir up anti Muslim because, because when we say, if we say like, oh, this is jihadi stuff, we then we follow up by saying, by the way, guys, not all Muslims, more Muslims are like, are not like this. Uh, this should not, uh, this does not justify any collective punishment against the Muslim community as a whole but when she just puts this out there and she uses the word like oh this is jihadi stuff this is jihadi crime this this jihadism needs to be responded you know she like th she means muslims she means like there needs to be a pushback against i mean maybe if she doesn't it just comes across to me like she's try she, she's just trying to stir up anti-muslim she's just using trying to take sides between two and entire communities rather than condemning a specific group of people to me it seems like she wants to play in becoming relevant and more relevant um 
and you know more she wants to be a champion of an entire group of people against another entire group of people and she's just misusing the conflict that exists what do you think oh i i agree she has well known um like hindutva sympathies or mm. actual like affiliations or um uh praise for the bjp and rss um right and so i was discussing actually yeah it was i appreciated someone as large as her politically talking about this issue because it otherwise wouldn't have and so it's going to expose like so many people who have no idea about this issue like and then educate them a little bit but her use of the word jihadi was so so exaggerated she, to me like yeah it's purposeful i think she, <laughs> and if she was she meant muslim she went she meant obviously muslim. She yeah. yeah she couldn't say she was just trying to uh, stir up a hide against muslims has she ever talked about any um hindu on muslim attacks like has she ever come out and condemn i don't know or does anybody know in the live chat if tulsi has ever highlighted any Good, yeah, because for example, when we highlight st no, stories like this, when Muslims attack Hindus, uh, people can't accuse us of taking becoming tr tri tribal or say, or you know try to cause um, try to stir up hate against a, a group of people because we highlight the other side as well. You guys know that. Whenever, by the way, whenever we highlight, for example. Hindus attacking Muslims, we get accused of like, oh my God, I mean, you're you, I mean, Susanna, you guys are Muslim apologists, but no, which we hire, we highlight stories like this as well. But does like, has Tulsi done that ever? Like, has Tulsi done? And not only that, we highlight uh, attack of atheists on Muslims as well, right? We highlight uh, China's oppression, chi the Chinese government's atheist the atheist Chinese government's oppression of Muslims. So we're not at all tribal here. I mean, I'm sure we're some by tribal and we're unaware of it, but we try to be as untribal as we possibly can be. So, but I think this was very interesting. Okay, people are saying never. Um, any guys, anybody know she never did? Me, I saying she never did. No, never, never. Okay, okay. Um, there again, if if it's the live chat we don't know for sure because the live chat might be wrong but the live chat is saying that she never has so this is this is her and this is not her highlighting a crime this is her just playing into uh, tribalism and using guys this is actually very disrespectful disrespectful of people who have been killed because they're being used this is not you caring for the people who have died this is you using the people who have died for your own hateful campaign this is actually like if I if you are one of the family of one of the victims, you should be offended by this. I would be offended by this. How dare you use the death of my loved ones in whatever political you ag agenda that you have? This is disgusting, actually. Well, yeah. this is why I go out there and I find us the content we got to react to. We got to talk about. Yeah, this stuff. actually, good job noticing that. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, good job bringing that uh, to our attention. Um, um yeah. I think we should move on to the next news, but um moral of the story is is that you know uh Bangladesh needs much more strengthened protections for their religious minorities. Hindus in Bangladesh only make up nine to ten percent of the population, and um religious minorities in Bangladesh need to have legitimate avenues of recourse when they are abused in the country um instead of having authorities that are not sympathetic to the persecution that they face and the violation of their rights that they are supposed to be guaranteed um that's horrible tojo is saying say a joke before the next news oh well i have something that was no good. wait 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 before you go there um why i keep it keeps jumping up um I also want to highlight that all the people that keep saying every t every single time we highlight a news that is about Hindu and Muslim violence, okay? 
we always get the Hindutva saying that. Well, you never talk about like I don't know Hindu uh, Muslims attacking Hindus. Oh, you only you only oh we see you like Tahiya Tahiya. You're a secret Muslim. You're a Muslim apologist. You only highlight like attack by Hindus. Never you never talk about what's happening in Bangladesh, but we do. And like last week, this news come came out, and it didn't make it into last week's news. And it takes a while for it to first get published on our website, and then eventually for us to post it. And then after we post it, then we get it we get it covered. And we also have highlighted anti Hindu attacks so many times before. Like they come in the comment section and like, oh, you're biased. You don't cover the other side. And like, <laughs> bitch, you didn't even just, look. You didn't even look. You didn't. We have so many times. We have every time that we have every time. That it happens, we have just like just type stuff without even checking. I mean, I don't know what that, my expectations should be. It's amazing. Yeah, and um, also, I'm not, guys. I like I like being like this. Don't tell me to calm down. I enjoy being like this. Is fun for me. This is the, this is how I feel better <laughs> about the world. Okay, I get it out of not, my system. That's so true. That's so I, true. I get, this is so rewarding for me. Why do you want me to calm down? Do you hate me? This is the best thing that I do. Okay? This is I you know, the point of me doing these live streams is to I can get this out of my system and I feel so much better after it. So why would you want to take this away from me? Okay? I'm not going to calm <laughs> down. In fact, in fact, I'm going to do the exact opposite, okay? I'm going to try to do the exact opposite. This is the yeah. Anyways, <laughs> No way. You highlighted something? I honestly saying Susanna reminds me of Riley Reed, but a cuter version. Yeah, I know I am a sick person. Okay. I actually think this is a fantastic compliment. Riley mm. Reed is hot and very cute. So if you think I'm even cuter than her, I'm extremely flattered. I'm Wait, extremely why would flattered. that be a why would that be a sick where where the hell have we gotten that what is considered sick? Is telling somebody that they're cute, like. Do you know who you Riley no... Reed is? No, but like I. Oh, I know... okay. Well, that exp... she is a adult film actress. That's why they're saying that it's a sick. I don't, I don't think, think okay. that makes it you, sick at all. You have to. You have to just glance in my mind and Susanna's mind, and then you will realize that <laughs> you, <up>. you got. <laughs> You got what you guys consider sick is just like so vanilla. So van you guys are so vanilla. You think this is sick? Guy, I have to, you guys, I have to introduce you to what sick actually means. Okay. I have I to have introduce to you to Susanna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people are okay, guys. I don't know because when I watch something like this, I don't really care about who I don't care about the name of the people who are doing the performance. I care about the performance more than the I don't even know some celebrities in movies either. I I care about the movie itself. So I'm sorry if I don't know the name of adult movie stars. I can't adult movie. We say adult movie because we can't use the P word on YouTube. Anyways. You got I, this is actually I'm triggered now. Armin is pure. He wouldn't know. This is from all the insults I get. Pure is the this is the most triggering. Yeah. How dare no. you? How, How dare, dare you? you How guy? dare you call me pure? Like, I I wish I could talk right now. YouTube doesn't let. <laughs> anyway. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.